So I've been doing some thinking. Sounds dangerous. Do you think the uprising of the protesting Chinese citizens against the Communist Party will be, oh, how you say, successful? You mean those conspiracy theorists who are denying the severity of this disease and therefore are rebelling against the protective lockdowns that are in place to keep them safe? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, as compassionate as the communist dictators must be, and I'm sure they're empathetically listening to the concerns of their COVID-denying citizens, I don't think the communists will stop the citizens. I think they'll be stopped by fruit. Which one? Apple. But I thought apples were good for you. Apparently not good for human rights, because Apple is working with the communist regime to stop the citizens by installing a new feature on their phones that blocks their ability to airdrop. Is that to stop the citizens from easily sharing photos and videos that they've taken at the protests in order to slow the spread of the uprising's momentum? That was a pretty good guess. <clears throat> Thank you. But yeah, that's what Apple's done. And that's on top of the communist government using bots to flood Twitter with pornographic videos in order to dilute the videos of the protests that are making it out to the world. Which is a strategy I've really enjoyed, by the way. If I didn't know any better, and you definitely don't, it kind of makes Apple look like they're against human rights. Why do you think Apple would be working with the communist government against the citizens who are just trying to take a stand for basic human rights? Well. You know how Apple has many factories in China so they can make their cheap phones with cheap labor so they can be sold expensively? You mean the factories with inhumane working conditions? Those would be the ones. So some people think that if Apple doesn't bend over and help the oppressive government defeat the people who just want basic human rights, then the Chinese government would kick Apple manufacturing out of China. Which would force Apple to take their manufacturing to other countries that don't allow oppressive working conditions. And that's just not what Apple stands for. But even though Apple's actions show they don't care about people, Apple does care about people, don't they? Of course they do. Apple put a pride flag on their logo. And that brings us to Elon. No, it doesn't. It brings us to Justin Trudeau. He's my favorite Canadian communist. Yeah, I'm a fan of anyone whose sexually immoral mother banged Castro. Do you think Castro is Trudeau's dad? Do I think Trudeau's father is his dad? Well, odds are probably not. But nonetheless, I did appreciate Trudeau's sentiments to the protesters in China. Oh, what did he say? Well, according to Twitter on my Apple phone, which is made in China with slave labor, Trudeau says, Everyone in China should be allowed to protest. We will continue to ensure that China knows we will stand for human rights and with people who are expressing themselves. Uh, didn't uh, Trudeau do everything in his power to stop Canadian truckers from protesting? Uh, yeah, but he wasn't talking about them with this statement. And that brings us to Elon. Of course it does. Apple is threatening to take Twitter off the App Store because Elon's doing the whole free speech thing. Now it makes a lot more sense why Apple is siding with the Chinese Communist Party. At least they're consistent. So in response to Liz Wheeler's tweet saying that if Apple and Google kick Twitter off their App Stores because it's no longer communist enough to qualify for the guidelines, then Elon should just make his own smartphone. To which Elon confirmed he would. What a powerful solution! Because when you look at the monopolies that Meta, Apple, Google, and Amazon have, it's a major problem. They're mega extremists. And thank God Biden's been warning us about them. Yeah, a few companies having absolute control over people's lives is a major problem and should never happen. But with Elon's phone pledge, he'll put an end to that danger. Because if he makes them, then one single man would be in control of significant market share of telecommunications with his new phone, the automobile industry with Tesla, satellites with Starlink, energy with Solar City, social media with Twitter, and he'd have microchips in people with Neuralink. Which is clearly the solution to these monopolies that have too much control over things. Yeah, we've seen what happens when a few people have too much control over everything. I'm glad Elon's willing to put an end to that. Did you see Ireland's banning hate speech? Yep, carries a penalty of up to five years in prison, because it's pretty dangerous. I just wonder who gets to define what hate speech is. <laughs> the government! Oh, should be fine then. And did you hear the Canadian government is promoting assisted suicide as a treatment for mental health problems? 
Well, technically it would put an end to one's mental health problems. I just don't know why people think that globalists who say they're out to reduce the world's population are out to reduce the world's population. And I'm sure this Canadian thing has nothing to do with that. Oh, speaking of my favorite subject, population reduction? Yep. Did you watch Died Suddenly? I loved it. I watched it with my cousin. What'd he think of it? He died suddenly while watching it. Oh man. Was he that super compliant cousin you were telling me about? Yeah. Sorry for your loss. Don't worry about it. It was kind of the ultimate told you so moment. I just wish he could have lived to see the look on his face when he realized he was wrong and I had been right this whole time. Is it correct to assume he was from San Francisco? Y yeah, I, how'd you know? Seems pretty obvious. Yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? And how do you feel about San Francisco police now being allowed to use robots to kill people? It just makes me wonder even more why nut jobs out there who think that globalists who say they want to reduce the world's population are out to reduce the world's population. Yeah, I still don't get that. Bro, Kanye? Could you be more specific? All the things. Thank you for the clarity. And yes, I find it surprising that someone who admits they have mental health issues is acting mentally unstable. It does not add up. But it does add up better than Apple teaming up with the Chinese Communist Party to protect the party from the citizens having human rights. Yeah, humans shouldn't have the right to human rights. And speaking of which, do you think communism would work here? Well, it's never worked for anyone other than the authoritarians in control, but that's only for all of human history. So I think it would be insane not to do the same thing over and over again and not expect a different result. Re persistence is part of success, right? I mean, we'd never succeed at anything if we just stopped trying. We don't want to be a bunch of quitters. And aside from ruining lives, there's no downside to communism. That's definitely what we should think. Yeah, we better stop asking questions and keep voting red so more Democrats can get into office and keep driving us to destination communism. It'll be a joy to comply our way there. Stop.